of the most popular landed districts in terms of resale volume were in District 19 in the Prairie Park landed estate and were just adjacent to Serangoon Gardens, Coburn MRT and Hougang MRT. renovated three-story into terrace to show you. Come check it out with us. So we're coming into this house and just looking at the facade of the house, this is easily one of the most beautiful houses along this street. Fully renovated in 2011. We're sitting on a land of 1619 square feet and the current build-up is about 3,000 square feet. In terms of the frontage, we have about 6 meter. Depth-wise, we're at 25.1 meters. So before we take you inside, let's talk about the floor plan of the home and it's split across three levels. We've got a basement where you have your master bedroom and your master ensuite. First level, you have the living and dining space and then you've got your open concept kitchen, helper's room or a granny's room, and then a common bathroom. And then on level two, you have three bedrooms, one common bath and one ensuite bathroom, two balconies, one on the mezzanine level and then one on the upper level. The minute you enter into your car porch area, you get this Balinese resort vibe since you see all of the natural material. So even the pillar is clad with granite stone, but this car porch area can fit one car. Coming up, you have the slight elevation here which allows you to do a decking and also you've got a little koi pond behind. If you want to do more gardening, you could replace the koi pond with some landscaping. This area over here, you have space for storage, so your shoe cabinet tree. You'll see three different types of stone finishes here that is quite unique. So we'll come into the living area. You'll see that towards the front you have glass doors and then of course you've got the windows that allowing lots of natural light in. Entire flooring has been redone throughout the home. They've done that transition with the same pebble stone in the exterior. But then coming into the main living area, we've got the marbles. This ceiling height here, this is about 3.4 meters. And the feature wall over here, what this does if I just show you. So you can just like slide this in and it gives a slightly different look to the space. Enough room for two-seater here, a three-seater here. You could do an L shape here as well. So we've got the split living and dining space when you come on up here. So what they did back in 2011, the extensive renovations that were done, if you look at an original layout, they usually have a much smaller dining area and an enclosed kitchen. And what they did here was they basically opened up everything to have an open concept kind of kitchen and dining space. Let me show you. So what if you see this raw sliding cabinetry, this actually all opens up to reveal your cooking area. So you've got induction cooker. So it opens up to reveal your, your guess how? These mirror cladded cabinetry. So it adds a little bit of interest to the overall wooden cabinetry here. You have more storage space here, like your microwave oven, your convection oven. This was really nicely done and the track system that they used, definitely really well done. Another unique thing is that track system is used rather than a more conventional bottom system. So this creates like a floating effect. This was really well done. On the island itself, you also have more storage at the bottom. The drawers here all have this soft close. So you've got the fridge space here, more shelving here, and then a sink and like a wet space. Over on this side, they've also added in like additional study area. So instead of having a full-fledged room that might make the entire dining space feel smaller, they've kept this as a, like an open study corner. And then when we head towards the yard area, so you've got the, the common bath here, renovated as well. So you've got the, the shower area here, and then a ventilation window. And then in this utility room has been converted into like a grand room or if you have a live-in helper then this would be your helper's room.
Before we show you the rest of the home, let's talk about the location first. Bounded by Yochukang Road, Aukang Avenue 2, as well as Upper Serangoon Road, E19 always had the highest number of volume resale transactions. In Perry Park alone, there are only about 143 terrace houses in the entire state. And it's a relatively quiet because you only have residents travelling through these roads if you are staying in the estate. You have uh, two really popular schools. So you've got Rosai Primary and you also have Singming Primary that's within 1km. And then we are also just adjacent to Serangoon Garden. So it's just about a seven minute drive to Chom Chom and all of your food options there. And then the closest MRT right now is Coven MRT. If you're driving, it's really quick access to the CTE as well as the KPE. And you also have the upcoming Serangoon North MRT on the Cross Island line that's just coming up by the year 2030. And that's going to increase accessibility as well. If you look at entering into the landed market and you want to buy an inter-terrace, I think it's important to also uh, look at areas of future growth potential. If you look at where this Perry estate, just behind Perry View, we have the old Perry Primary School. Right now on the master plan, that's zoned as a park zoning as well as a residential zoning. So you have a huge plot right there that's slated for upcoming future residential development. And also if you look at the landscape of upcoming condo developments in the area, you also have Affinity at Serangoon which is coming up and also you have garden residences and a couple of other ECs and this is where you'll likely get your pool of upgraders and your future buyers when you're thinking about your exit strategy. major cost saving feature for you is that they've already redid the, the staircase. You'll also see that we have two skylights here uh, that let natural daylight into this landing area. So we'll move into this first bedroom. Actually originally this is the original master bedroom. Right now they've converted it into a common bedroom but this is one of the, the bigger common bedrooms. You'll see that they've done a full wall of storage so your wardrobe space is along that side. Then on the flip side, this is all wardrobe space, so we have additional three panels here. So you don't need that much storage, this can easily be removed as well, and then you will have a completely open space. The bed right now, this is a single bed. They've also built in a little study table here, and then this room also has an attached balcony. This is facing towards the front of the house. What you can do here is you can actually, you can put in an awning, something like what some of the neighbors have done. So this is really nice as like a second garden area as well. As we go back in, so we have the ensuite here. The beauty of the configuration right now is that you have two bedrooms with ensuite. So this is like kind of like your junior master. And it's a really great size ensuite. Got shower area here and a really long vanity. I think the condition of the bathroom is still in really great. But when we come up to this landing, so we have got more starts here, um, extends all the way to the top. Let's check out the common bath first. So you've got another common bath here that serves these two rooms. Really great size. We like that the WC is out of sight, so it's actually tucked over in this corner here. When you come into this room, this room also leads you out to the balcony. All the rooms are in a very regular shape, really easily configurable. There's a single bed here. You can definitely put in a queen, or in this case, I think even up to a king size bed. This is a built-in, but you can remove this. The purpose of this was actually like a study come like a dressing table. And then you have two good size wardrobe over here and then we'll go check out the other bedroom. They've created a, like a little walk-in wardrobe area in this room and then when you come in over on this side, so this will be the sleeping area. This is a single bed right now. You can put in a queen size. You've got the study table area here. Open up to the balcony that you share with your neighbouring room and then it opens up to this really nice seating area. So this is a really quiet back alley. So we'll go back down to the first floor and we'll show you the basement and the master bedroom but before that we'll talk a little bit more more about the pricing in the area.
you look at the prices in, in District 19, you must be thinking, what can I buy for under 4 million right now? Let's bring up the four categories of inter-terrace houses. So category one, you have houses that are maybe single-storey houses that are good for rebuild. And prices for these old houses for rebuild start from about 3.25 million to about 3.6 million. PSF, you're looking at about 1007 to 1009 PSF. You will then have to factor in your rebuild costs at about $400 PSF. That will bring your rebuild costs to about 1.6 million. And then your total overall costs about 4.85 million to 5.2 million. For category two, you have houses that are good for ANA or major renovation. And these houses right now, they're going for about 3.8 to about 4 million. PSF, you're looking about 2,000 to 2,002 PSF. Let's say you put aside about $1 million for uh, an ANA. Overall cost, that will chalk up to about 4.8 to 5 million dollars. Category three houses are the houses that are slightly newer and they only require a minimal renovation. So mostly, move-in condition. These houses are in the range of about 4.2 to 4.5 million. PSF about 2004 to 2006 PSF. And then you have the category 4 houses, brand new inter-terraces straight from the developer. These are right now in the range of about 4.8 to 5.2 million. PSF about 2007 to 2009 PSF. And then newer move-in condition houses and your brand new houses that will be treading closer to 5 million and above. So for this house at Perry Terrace, we fall in between category 2 and category 3. Really minimal renovations to be done and we're at under 4 million PSF or about 2464 PSF. So I think this house would be great for your family if you want something that's in moving condition, that requires very little renovations, that's sitting on a very sizable plot of land at 1619 square feet. So we'll head down to the basement or the lower level where you have the master bedroom and your master ensuite. This entire basement has been converted into your primary suite. Super private where you can basically have your own privacy away from your children if you want. This right now is the family area. It's great that it's separated from your sleeping area. So even when you come in at night and you don't want to disturb your spouse, you can still be in this corner and get some work done uh, with very little disturbance. So you've got some storage space here and I think more importantly is they've managed to incorporate so much wardrobe space all along the side of the wall. So they've put this divider for a couple of purposes. One, it, having this partition here allows for more privacy so that when you come in through the door, you don't immediately see the bathroom as well as the sleeping area. And at the same time, you are increasing your storage space. When you come in this area, you also have another small study area to act as a bed head and also so to incorporate more storage, they have built in this sort of like a standing chest of drawers. They managed to put in even more wardrobe space all along the side. So this actually was external backyard space which they've reclaimed to be part of the room. So, so every inch of space is really fully maximized and utilized. This is a king size. The bed is really well positioned facing towards your little garden or backyard area. Let's check out the ensuite first. It's really spacious and I think the, the glass wall sort of adds to that illusion of space to your master bathroom. Really long sink, vanity, very luxurious shower area. Okay, now we will show you the backyard. So this backyard space is an extension of your basement or your master bedroom and this is basically an all-purpose space for you to do um, outdoor lounging. This is also where they do their washing and their laundry. So then you have the back gate which opens up and then you can head on out um, to cut through to the main roads. Hope that you've enjoyed today's home tour. This is Perry Terrace asking 3.99 million view to offer, sitting on a land of 1619 square feet. This is great if you want to move in with the least amount of hassle. And if you want to take a look at the physical place, do contact our listing managers, Brian and myself, and we'll be so happy to show you the place. Also, if you want to check out more home tours, do subscribe to all of our social media channels on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And my name is Beatrice, Property Lynn Brothers, always happy to show you the place till the next one take care <laughs>
I'm trying my best to I'm trying my best to not slam the So please contact our listing managers Brian. Say hi Brian. 